Hi, in the first part of this tutorial I changed the sky a little bit, added this sun, then I also added this line over here and then in the previous part I did the text and now I'm going to start by creating a perspective shadow and also do some additional editing and I'm going to divide this tutorial in two parts because otherwise it will be very long and the first thing I need to do is select this front and make it invisible for now and make the back active and then with this select tool I'm going to make a selection something like this and then I'll hit the delete key to remove this part then Control shift a to deselect and then I can uh, bring back the front part here and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to delete some of this just like I did with the lion here to make the text fit better in this uh, grass field so now next thing I'm going to do is right click here and go alpha to selection and I also need to create an, another layer here and I'm going to call it perspective shadow click OK and uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, I have my alpha to selection then I'm going to select this layer over here and control comma to fill with black color then control shift A to deselect now next thing I can do is actually let me zoom out for a moment I can uh, crop this layer current layer only make sure this one is selected then hit the enter key and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use the perspective tool and this will make it easier next thing with the flip tool vertical then with the move tool you can move this over here holding down the control key will make me move in a straight line place it over here then we can use the perspective tool click and let's bring this down a little bit let's transform and see how this looks maybe I can transform it a little bit more over here make it a little bit smaller Then with the move to again, I see that it's not aligning very well here. So again with the perspective tool, I'll try to fit it right. Move just this part, see what's gonna happen. and this looks good enough now next thing I want to do is go to filters blur Gaussian blur and uh, I'll enter here 20 and then click OK now I can also control the uh, strength of the shadow with the layer opacity so if I reduce that you see that the shadow is no longer that strong so maybe we can use something this strong for now also I'm going to move it a little bit up over here like this and uh, let's make it a little bit less stronger 40% see how this looks 
now here you can choose to keep this if you want to but I'm going to use the eraser tool make it bigger reduce the opacity to let's say 20 Control Z on that go back to the shadow and I'm going to start erasing some of it and of course like I said this is entirely up to you how much of the shadow you want to keep you can leave it maybe like this if you want to And we can increase the strength of the shadow anytime we want. Say something like this. So you see that our text now is starting to look a lot better. And uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to continue with adding a little bit more shadow over here and also start erasing some of the text so this text looks a lot better in this image here. So that's it for this tutorial, bye for now.